Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a function L, which is defined on C close interval 0, 1 with norm infinity. So C close interval 0, 1 is a set of all continuous functions, which are defined on close interval 0, 1. So let me show in a diagram. This is y axis. This is x axis. Close interval 0, 1 we have. So this is a continuous function on defined on close interval 0, 1. This one is also continuous function. Get it? Or you can define a constant function, then also it is defined, it is continuous on this close interval 0, 1. So, C close interval 0, 1 is a set of such functions. Norm infinity is defined in this way. That means if you have any continuous function defined on close interval 0, 1, it is like this. So, where it achieves its maximum value, getting at this point, it gets its maximum value. So, whatever the maximum value, Actually, we are taking mod. That means we are taking a maximum of mod. So here its maximum value is here. So whatever the maximum value that is nothing but its supremum getting that is nothing but its value of norm f infinity. Let me give you one more example. Suppose we have a function like this. See uh, here we get its minimum value, but which is negative when you take its mod. So the function will be like this. So here the function will have the maximum value that is nothing but the value of norm f infinity getting in this way this norm infinity is defined and L is defined from this domain to R with a usual distance. We are familiar with the definition of usual distance d of x y is equal to mod x minus y. L of f is defined with the help of integration and we have to prove that L is continuous on this domain. So let me mention here to prove that to prove that L is continuous on this C close interval 0 1. So that means L is continuous at each and every point of this set. Actually it is a collection of functions. So you can say L is continuous at each and every function of this close interval 0 1. So normally what we do, we take any arbitrary function from this set and we will prove that L is continuous at that function. Okay, so let us take let f from below f naught belongs to this c close interval 0, 1. I have chosen any arbitrary function. So now my target, let me mention now to prove that L is continuous at f naught. Okay, so using epsilon delta definition, we are going to prove it. Let us recall the definition. Okay. So the definition says for given epsilon, there exists delta greater than zero such that in domain we have norm infinity. So we should write in this way norm f minus f naught less than delta implies in codomain we have a usual distance that means mod L of f minus L of f naught less than epsilon. So in this way we have to prove then we can say L is continuous at f naught. Here you can easily see we have a need of epsilon. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. And for this epsilon, we have to find delta, which will uh, give us this condition. Okay, so now we have to choose delta. So let me mention we take delta is equal to. But see, right now we don't know what should be our delta. So I will keep it blank. We will go further. At the end, we will realize, yes, this delta we should take to get that condition and that time we will have our delta. Okay. So let me keep it blank and we will continue with it. Let me remove this part. So we will have some more space to write. I'm directly going with the definition. So the definition says, consider the domain with norm infinity. So norm f minus f naught infinity less than delta implies mod L of f minus L of f naught. See, we have to prove that it is less than epsilon. Okay, so let us start to work on it. This is equal to mod. What is L of f? L of f is this integration. So we can write integration 0 to 1 f of t dt minus L of f naught. Again, using the same definition, we can write 0 to 1 f naught of t dt. Okay. So we can take this integration common. So 0 to 1, what will you have? f of t 
minus f naught of t right dt okay so this is equal to mod integration 0 to 1 f minus f naught of t dt okay so if you interchange mod and integration we will have this inequality less than or equal to integration 0 to 1 mod f minus f naught of t dt okay so we have uh, there is a need of more space so make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so we are finding the value of this mod at particular point t which belongs to close interval 0 1 but see if you take it supremum obviously it is greater than or equal to this one so let me write here this is less than or equal to integration 0 to 1 okay i am going to replace it by supremum of mod f minus f naught of t t belongs to close interval 0 1 getting dt so this is supremum of this one okay so obviously it is less than or equal to this supremum so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 this is nothing but definition of norm infinity so infinity dt by definition of norm infinity we get the same thing but see this norm infinity gives the fixed real number so it's a real number it's a constant so you, when you integrate we always take constants outside so it will come outside the integration norm f minus f naught infinity 0 to 1 dt so now it's very simple integration to solve norm f minus f naught infinity integration of dt is t 0 to 1 norm f minus f naught infinity putting upper limit lower limit 1 lower limit 0 so its value will be 1 so we will have same norm f minus f naught infinity but see initially we have already mentioned it is less than delta actually what we have to prove we have to prove it is less than epsilon what we are getting it is less than delta so my choice of delta should be epsilon okay so you remember initially we had kept this place blank we had not decided that what should be our delta but now we are realizing that delta should be epsilon so actually i have already uh, removed this step so there we should write delta is equal to epsilon okay so the it will work so let me conclude here therefore therefore what i should write we started with this step norm f minus f naught infinity less than delta implies what we got mod l of f minus l of f naught and finally we got this is uh, less than somewhere we have got strictly yes strictly less than strictly less than epsilon epsilon that's it so the definition of continuous function is satisfied we can say l is continuous at f naught let me write that thing just make a screenshot of it so therefore l is continuous at f naught but see f naught is any arbitrary function of this c close interval 0 1 so therefore l is continuous on c close interval 0 1 so in this way we proved the given function l is continuous at each and every point of the domain okay so the example is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you